One of the key ways in which we're different uh, from conventional hedge funds is that uh, we give away all of our data. Um, and that's sort of the last thing an, another hedge fund would want to do. Because it's your edge. Would Axe Capital give away all the data? No! <laughs> uh, and and would, uh, would any quant fund? No, because they've been building up this data edge over time. And so that was a kind of counterintuitive thing. Like, can you do a hedge fund where you actually do give away all the data and anyone can download it and anyone can model it at, with machine learning and, and submit predictions back to the hedge to us, mm. and then that powers our hedge fund. So we're trying to use machine learning uh, and uh, blockchain even to uh, to make a new kind of hedge fund that turns it the existing quant uh, kind of upside down. So if I'm a quant, I don't have a job. Let's say I'm in school. What what, what would I be? I'd be getting a, a math degree or a, a physics degree. What would yeah. I typically be getting? Anything, uh, anything quantitative. Um, okay. That in, Where do they typically get? A lot of them are, are math and, and uh, statistics. PhD students, masters? Our user base? Yeah. Uh, I would say, yeah, uh, masters, professors even. Okay, so yeah. I'm a professor at MIT. Yeah. I decide, hey, I hear about this numeri thing, and I say, hey, I, I would like to take a swing at the bat. I go on the site, I write my model, I publish it, and then what happens next? You go trade based on that? Yeah, so you actually d you download a data set and you begin modeling the data set that you download. What would the data set be like? The last year of trades on the market? or We don't say what it is, so ah. that's the interesting thing. Although we're sharing all the data with, with everyone, um, it's completely uh, obfuscated of, its, of anything to do with finance. So um, if you look at it, uh, it's on my computer here, cool. um, it uh, it doesn't look like anything you would recognize. And it's a totally abstract kind of mathematical problem versus a finance problem. And that's why if you're, you're an MIT math professor, this data, even though you don't know what it is, you can actually build a machine learning algorithm on it. Okay, so let's see. Why don't you show us how this works? Okay, basically you download a huge grid of, of numbers between zero and one, hmm. and, um, and, and, and you model that. So you don't know what you're doing, but you can still still do modeling. Um, and that's the only part of the company. The website's very simple. You just download data, you do the modeling on your own computer, and you upload predictions. But I don't know what that core data set is. No, and you don't need to. Ah, you're putting, where? so what is the data set? You just have some secret data set you're putting out there? Yeah. Ah, so you say, here's a bunch of data, you model what's gonna happen next. Exactly. They model what they think is gonna happen next, they upload what, an algorithm? Or like a piece of code? What are they uploading to all you? They're, all they're doing is uploading the predictions. Ah. So in fact, um, they have no idea what the data is, and we also have no idea what model they used to create the predictions. Hmm. So we're both uh, blind to, to either party. So you don't actually know how they made They're just giving you the output. Exactly. So they actually know their algorithm. And it's their IP. And it's their IP. Yeah. Ah, that's critical. Exactly. Now, they give back to you the predictions, do they have to give it back to you in a certain amount of time? Because isn't trading based upon yeah. time? Things change? They have kind of one week to give it back. Ah, so you give them the data. They build a model. They come out with an output. They give you the output. Now, what do you do with that output, their prediction? So we have a whole bunch of now, uh, once they send it to us, we have a whole bunch of probabilities on global equities. So Apple, will, might, we might be saying Apple's going to go up with probability 0.55 or something like that. Mm -hmm. and, um, and we'll have this from our 15,000 data scientists and whoever was competing in that week. And um, we can then say, okay, well, if we have all these different models, can we combine them in a way that's way better than the best model? Mm. And, so and then you might put two or three together. Yeah, we'll put hundreds together. Oh, so everybody makes a prediction. In this case, they don't know exactly what the data was, but let's say it was something to do with Apple. Now you know, hey, in 100 predictions by 100 smart people, everybody's sort of leaning towards this being the next chess move. Exactly. So it's almost like having a bunch of chess experts who say, this is where we think you should go. Exactly. Then you make a trade based on that? Yeah. How much money? How, how, how much? We, we, um, I'm not sure how much we can talk about the construction of the... Okay. But um, we trade a, a hundred or so uh, stocks. Uh, Got it. Uh, based on all the predictions. Got it. Hey, 
everybody, I want to tell you about a product and service that I love, that I use as a customer, and that my wife used actually for her small business. It's Square. You know Square. They do credit card processing for businesses of all sizes, and it's a beautifully designed, gorgeous experience. You've used it as a customer where you sign with your finger and you put your nice tip amount in, you get a great receipt. It's gorgeous hardware. It's very reliable, super easy to use, very powerful. And uh, the payments, you can take them anywhere. Uh, like personal trainers I've seen use it that I work with, slide your credit card. Um, any uh, business size will love it. And there's no hidden fees. You just pay for one simple rate, and it's uh, a sign-up process that takes minutes, probably under a minute. They accept every major credit card, and you pay only for what you use. Uh, they'll also deposit your money fast, and this is critical for small and medium-sized businesses, hey, even some big si businesses. You don't want to uh, be having to wait for your money, and they will deposit it fast, every time, even instantly, if you really need that. And they can protect you with a $250 a month uh, in free chargeback protection. They have top-level security and amazing customer support. All that's free of charge. Why? Because they want their partners to succeed. If you succeed, they succeed. And here is an amazing offer. I can't believe how great this offer is. You can sign up now for free processing on your first $500 in sales at square.com slash twist. Square.com slash twist, T-W-I-S-T. Hey, beautiful product, amazing service, great support. It's gorgeous. It's easy. You'll sign up quick. Go ahead and go to square.com slash twist. Some terms do apply. Square.com slash twist. Welcome to the program, Square. Okay, let's get back to this amazing episode. 